Let's have some fun with the fanged fish. I'm going to start by blocking very lightly. Let's block in the fishy. Now this will start the same way that that animated fish, that lesson on the online art academy on Mark Kistler's School of Imagination in the animated section. And when you click on fish, we'll start with the same way. Let me center that so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So I start really light. And you can go and zoom in just a bit so they can see I'm going to fill my screen right there. It's good. Really light. Just block it in. Just scribble. Really loose and comfortable. And now, about right here, put a dot about right there. I'm going to draw the bottom jaw of this fanged fish, all right? Now remember, if I go too fast at any point during my drawing lesson, you can always push pause. You can always push pause on your computer screen, okay? And you can always zoom in. You can make the screen get larger by putting full, pushing full screen. All right, so let's draw the near eye. Now watch this. Now I'm going to start drawing a little darker detail. I'm going to draw the eyeball right here. And then I'm going to draw overlapping. I'll put this eyeball getting a little bit further away, a little bit smaller. And then I'll detail in the top of the fish's lip there, okay? Coming in just a bit. But down here, I want to have some fun. I want to go crazy with some long teeth, all right? Now I'm going to draw the near tooth first because I want this near tooth to be really big. I'm going to have this near tooth. I'll even start at kind of a small tooth. Look at it. It goes right off the, the paper. See that? The near tooth there. Then over here, this tooth gets a little bit smaller. Well, if you can even draw a guideline how it gets smaller. This is going to be smaller than this. It's further away, all right? And I match the bottom of the fish's tooth curving up like this. Like this is that flow. It gives a nice flow of the line, all right? So there's there's the far tooth and here's the near tooth and it's bigger it's thicker it's closer all right closer to your your point of view and then here in the in the middle let's put some fun jagged edges for the teeth we're going to develop this character that you're going to you're going to write a story you're going to be the great storytellers of the next century and this is going to be a great illustration to write a story about so put a dark shadow in between there. See that? Let me move that up just a bit there. I'm going to put a dark shadow under the, the fish's teeth, under this tooth too. Look at that. Put that dark shadow. And I'll, I'm going to be using my paper stump here in just a second. And then I'll put a little dark shadow under the eye here. Have some fun. Get that nice and dark down there. And then, ah! <laughs> the fish got scared. The fish saw you. The fish saw you giving them the, the fish eye. Now when I draw, you don't have to put eye pupils in there. Some artists love to leave an eye just like that, but I'm going to put pupils in here just out of habit, and I'll leave a little shiny spot right there in the middle. Can you zoom in so they can see that just a little bit? Keep coming in there. There you go, right there. See, you can see how relaxed and sketchy, and look at this. My line's far from perfect. It's just a bumpy line, but as you clean up the details and you refine it, it'll it'll get even more focused okay and then you know what you can do too you can clean it up with shading and look at this i'll put some scribble shading in here okay shade it down here and then we'll use you can use your finger you can use your finger you can smear it and blend it with your finger i of course like using my paper stump and the more you use it the the, the more easy it is to blend with and then sometimes it just gets you use it so much then you have to get a new one because it pretty much deteriorates but watch this i'm going to get it nice and dark go and pull back so we'll take a look at the at the fish's teeth. Now watch this. I'm just going to use my paper stump to give my fish back here a tone. See that? Just use your stumpy to give your teeth a tone and I'll come back in here and I'll use this as my palette. I'll get some extra there you go. Get some extra pencil in on my stump. See that? Just give that fish that tooth a little bit of a blend here carefully. Okay? And then let's uh, you could put little hairs if you want hanging down here. We got a little hairy fish. Go ahead and pull out so we can take a look at this. And how's my time? How are we doing on time there, Mr. We're, oh, that's great. Only four minutes. Awesome. Well, right here, I'm going to move this up. Go ahead and pull out just a bit more. Right, right there. Great. I want to make the fins. Now, I'm going to pull this fin down. And it's going to be a little bit different from the fish we've done earlier. I always want to change, change my fishies, fishies just a bit here. Now, there's so many variations to draw. You can Every time you draw it, Make sure you change the teeth or make sure you change the eye. Look at this. These are curving opposite directions. This one's going to be a little bit shorter. It's going to be a little bit smaller. Oops. Oops. Get my fish to stay. 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 Good fishy. Good fishy. Stay. Now this is shorter back here. See, this is longer and that's shorter. It moves away. All right. And then let's draw this. Now the bottom of it, I'll just, the bottom of the pec, these are pectoral fins. See, these are the side fins. 
Okay, I'm going to draw this. There is that, these, set. Now, these are the pectoral fins down here. Get it nice and shaded underneath here, nice and dark. Go ahead and zoom in. Let's zoom in on this little area right there. Zoom in, keep coming in right there, good. Now let's use your pencil, put some texture, put some shading underneath here. The sun's coming from that direction there, so we're going to shade opposite. Now remember, underneath here, look really dark under here. You can use your finger to blend it, of course, and then, but I love using my paper stump. Gives it a nice, smooth, see it's dark back there, and I'll kind of smooth in just, just a little bit under this fishy, this bumpy. I want to darken this in here. I want to give it a definite edge. Push real hard. See that? Give it that nice dark edge. And then I'll go ahead and darken it in here. And then dark underneath here. Isn't that wonderful? Now pull out just a bit. Okay, now up here, let's put... Now what, give me a... Make sure I stop at nine minutes, okay? Because I want to make sure we can put this. Oh, wonderful. You got really far in six minutes. Look at now this, this on top. This is going to be the dorsal fin, okay? So let's draw a little dorsal fin here. We have the big tooth. This is size, larger and smaller. Look at the eye, larger and smaller. Look at the pectoral fin, larger and smaller. Near, far, near, far. That illusion, illusion, creating the optical illusion. Put the wrinkles here. My hero, Dr. Seuss, the king of all wrinkles. The great wrinkle artist, Dr. Seuss, influenced my work when I was your age. And then uh, now you can put a big giant tail. I'm going to keep his tail a little small tail, kind of for little uh, contrast. See a little contrast. Go ahead and put a little darkness under his under his tooth on this side also. And then I'll put a little bit of shading over here. I'm just scribbling it, and then I'll and then I'll add the blending. Okay, and then I'll put a little more down here. This is a wonderful little fishy. This is great. A fanged fish. What kind of characters are you going to create for your stories? I want you to write a story. Use your stompy or your finger. Your finger works just well. Remember, you always push pause if you need to have a little extra time. Just put a little more shading here, a little more blending. Use this. These stumps are wonderful tools. They're like 35 cents at your art store. Like uh, Aaron Brothers or Michael's or Jerry's Artorama or um, Hobby Lobby. They, they all have these wonderful papers. You can go online to it and type in paper stomp, buy a paper stomp and with your parents' permission. Well, there you go. That's an excellent fish. Look at that. You did that in how many minutes was that? You did that in eight minutes. I'm totally impressed. Hey, well, you know what? We have a few more seconds. Let's put some, let's put some uh, texture. See the texture, that detail. Now, remember, you can always take a look at my books, Drawing in 3D with Mark Kistler or Imagination Station, Mark Kistler's Imagination Station. Go to my website, click on my animated lessons and also a whole lot more video tutorials. My goal is to have over 300 of these video tutorials up for you guys. Hey, excellent, excellent job on this lesson. Hey, let's go on, let's do a different lesson. Take your pick. There's a whole bunch of icons of what lessons you can choose from in the future. Keep drawing. Yeah.